So today we're going to be building a Rube Goldberg machine. And as this slide suggests, we'll be keeping it simple. So first we're going to discuss who Rube Goldberg was, because most of you probably don't know that yet. Um, you can follow along in the handout that was provided to you. And let's get right into it. So here's an image of Rube Goldberg working on one of his cartoons um, as he was a cartoonist inventor and engineer. And here are some of his pieces. Um, this one is how to sharpen a pencil. This one is showing an automatic back scratcher idea. This one is actually a windshield wiper. And this one, which we'll be talking about, is a self-watering palm tree. So you can follow along with the handout and look at the image as I read off the description. String works jumping jack, frightening cat, which raises back and lifts trough, causing ball to fall into teacup. Spring makes ball rebound into cup, pulling on string, which releases stick, causing shelf to collapse. Milk can drops on ladle and tension of string tilts shoe against pump on seltzer bottle, Squirting seltzer on filthy spaniel, who hasn't had a bath in four years. Surprise causes him to turn three somersaults over the apparatus, and water splashes naturally into bowls running through the sprayer, watering the palm, and saving yourself a trip to Havana for tropical atmosphere. So, I think it's safe to say that this sounds a little ridiculous. Um, it's very unlikely that this machine would actually fully work. So what was Rube Goldberg trying to say here? So Rube Goldberg was actually trying to make it seem ridiculous, which sounds a little silly, but he was trying to actually poke fun at um, people and their tendency to go through all these crazy and drastic measures just for a little bit of convenience. And people often fool themselves into thinking something is more convenient when it's actually way more elaborate and complicated than they lead themselves to believe. So Rube Goldberg was really trying to make fun of um, people's tendencies with his comics. So here is a machine inspired by Rube Goldberg, um, and this is something that's done more modernly. This machine in particular is very small and it was made to actually write out a postcard. Here's an example of a very large Rube Goldberg machine. This one takes up an entire warehouse and it was created by the musical artist OK Go for one of their music videos. This device here was actually also created for a music video. But unlike the other one, this one is more than just a display. So this device actually plays an entire song using over 1,000 steel marbles. And the man who's operating the machine actually barely interacts with it at all for it to make this music. So to discuss how we're actually going to do this, we have to look at the engineering and design process which is a series of steps which are ask, imagine, plan, create, and improve. And you'll notice that improve actually continues back to ask. And we'll go over why that is very soon. So here's the breakdown of the different steps. So for the ask step, um, that includes what is the problem? So identifying the problem or the goal, and then what are the constraints? So in the case of this project, the problem or goal is to get the marble into the cup. And the constraints are that you have to use the required materials, you have to use at least five additional materials, and you have to include at least seven steps in the process. Also keep in mind that this is group work, so you must work in a group of three to four people. So the next step is imagine, and that includes brainstorming ideas and choosing the best idea. 
So on this project, um, you will need to come up with at least four initial ideas before you pick the best one. And when you do choose the best one, you have to communicate with your teammates on this so that it's a fair decision. So next in the, in the um, process is planning. So that is drawing diagrams and gathering materials. For this project, you need to draw two diagrams of your machine from different angles. Next is the create step. So that would be just following your plan and building your machine. And then the big one, testing it out. And you have to remember that it's not always going to work on the first try. Next is improve. So first you have to figure out what you can improve. And then you can actually go back and repeat the previous steps. Now, when you are figuring out what you need to improve, um, I'd like you to collaborate with your group, but also with other groups to get feedback from them as well. And now the repeat step to just briefly go over what that means. It means that you will be going from improve where you've determined that there's a problem with it if there's a problem with it and you'll use that problem in the ask step that is the problem that you define and then you brainstorm solutions to it in step two with imagine um, plan out how you would do those solutions in step three um, execute the solutions in step four and then finally step five you would want to test them and see if they work or not so here is an example of what I did. So I used a shoe, a cup, a 24 inch string and a marble, which are the required materials, and then a whole slew of other things. Here is my diagram that I drew out and it's really very simple. It just shows the process and it's labeled with letters just like Rube Goldberg's comics are and I have the description included in the handout if you want to look at that. As you can see here, I've got my Rube Goldberg machine all rigged up. So the plan is this car is going to roll into these books and they're going to knock each other over. This one will fall off the table and pull the shoelace, which will loosen that shoelace and make this paintbrush tip over and the marble will roll down this chute, bounce off the cap of that bottle, and land in this cup. Next we're going to take a look at how I had to use some problem solving to get through making the example for you guys, and also how that factors into the repeat step of the engineering and design process. So I noticed that the cup kept tipping over whenever I was running tests. I couldn't get the cup. So I determined that as the problem was that the cup kept tipping over. And I chose to solve this problem by putting an eraser in the cup. And then I went out and found an eraser. I put it in the cup, so I executed. And then I tested it. And sure enough, it worked. So when it worked, I was able to determine that I could move on to the next step. So now that you've looked at the examples and the artists that this is based around, you are ready to go out and build your own Rube Goldberg machine. Just remember to keep your mind open and have fun.